Hey everybody, hope you had a great Christmas break, enjoyed yourself, um, hope you guys had good family time and everyone stayed safe and healthy. Um, we are going to jump into um, writing some equations, we're going to do some stuff um, with unit 4, uh, that's going to be pretty short, and uh, what's interesting about unit 4 is that I'm going to give you a project at the end of this and not a test. So um, we're going to start unit or quarter three, basically with the project on this information. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, no test on this stuff, but there is a big project. You're going to have to use all of this in uh, and make sure that it's like nice and good. So um, keep that in mind as we're going through notes. We're going to just start off very simple today with um, writing an equation in slope intercept form if I give you the slope and a point. So we dealt with y, we talked about y-intercepts before, how they're the initial value, how they're, they tell us where to start on our graphs. Uh, they're always where x equals zero, right? All that stuff, but we didn't really solve for them. And so that's kind of what we're gonna do to start this uh, new year off, okay? So um, let's say, well, some things that we want to remember, right? We know that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So if I want to write an equation in slope intercept form, I need my slope and I need my y intercept. So if I told you the slope of a line was negative 4 and it goes through the point negative 2, 16, let's say. All right. We know half of the information that we need here because we know our slope is negative 4. But we do not know what our y-intercept is. We just know that it goes through this point on the graph. So um, if I want to write this in slope-intercept form, I'm going to have to figure out what is the y-intercept here. Well, what's nice is that we can actually do that with just this information because we know that this point here is made up of an x value and a y value. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use slope intercept form here, y equals mx plus b, and I'm just going to plug in the information we know. We know y is 16. We know the slope is negative 4. We know the x value here is negative 2, but we don't know what b is yet. So we're going to just use the point that they gave us for the x and the y value. And then we just get to solve a little bit. So negative 4 times negative 2 is going to be positive 8. If I want to get b by itself, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. And that gives me b equals positive 8. So using the point and my slope, I solved and found out my y-intercept was 8. Now we have the two pieces of information we need. We need this and we need this. So when I write my equation, y equals m is negative 4, x plus b is 8. So this would be the only equation of a line that has a slope of negative 4 and goes to the point negative 2, 16. That's pretty much it. We're just using the point, we're solving for the y-intercept, and we're writing our equation out. Let's try another one, see if we can figure that out. I thought... Hopefully this isn't too bad. Obviously, you're going to have to remember all about slope and y-intercepts. Um, you know, all that stuff that we just took a test on right before break. Um, let's say that I told you that it goes through the point. Um, let's go 4, negative 9. And it has a slope of one half. Okay? So we got a slope of one half. It goes through the point four, negative nine. I want to write the equation of what this line would look like. 
So we know we need slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to write in all the stuff that I need. Here's my x, here's my y. My slope is 1 half. And I'm going to solve it for b. So y is negative 9. The slope here is 1 half. Remember, that means if it's a fraction, it's going to go up 1 over 2. I'm sure you all remember that. Uh, you didn't let those Christmas cookies rock your brains, hopefully. The x value here is 4. And we do not know what b is, so I'm just going to leave it b. Once I have it set up, the math is pretty easy. I know you guys are probably freaking out because there's a fraction here, but literally your calculators can do that, or you can just use your brains a little bit. One half of four is just two. We get to there. To get two by or to get b by itself, we got to get rid of two, so minus two from both sides. And it looks like b is negative eleven. So now I got my y-intercept. I got my slope. That's all I need, and I'm going to just write my equation, y equals 1 half x minus 11, because it's negative 11. Or you could do plus negative 11, that'd be fine as well. Either one would be, would be okay there. Yeah, not bad, right? So, basics, um, what we're going to end up doing here, uh, just to kind of build off of, is we're going to be able to write these equations giving some different information. Tomorrow, instead of, you know, just finding the y-intercept, we're going to have to find the slope and the y-intercept. And we'll kind of go from there. And this is all going to lead us into this, this unit four, which is all about um, statistical analysis of graphs and scatter plots, um, which we'll talk all about that. All right, let's try one more. Let's go with, um, it has a slope, uh, let's make it yucky, yeah, that'll be fun for you guys, right? Let's have a slope of negative three-fifths, and it goes through, um, let's make it go through. 3, negative 1. So I kind of know what it looks like in my head. A point 3, negative 1, and it goes down 3 over 5, down 3 over 5. All right, let's write this equation then. So let's see. I need slope intercept form. My y, hopefully you can figure out which one it's going to be. This one's y, this one's x, right? That's always x, y. So negative 1, slope is negative 3 fifths. The x value here is 3, and we don't know b. Perfect. Now, negative 3 fifths times 3, again, if I'm multiplying fractions, you can use your calculator, obviously. But I go straight across, so I just put 3 over 1 to make it a fraction. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. 5 times 1 is 5. That's all you got to do when you're multiplying fractions. You're just going to go straight across. So turn the 3 into a fraction, put it over 1, and then multiply. Cool. That's easy enough, right? So now if I want to get b by itself, we got to get rid of negative 9 fifths. So since it's negative, that means add 9 fifths. And this is probably the part you're not going to like, but you should totally know how to do this from like fifth grade, right? Adding fractions together. So first of all, we need to make negative one. We have to have common denominators when we add these two numbers. Like so. So I want to turn negative one into fifths. Well, since it's one, that's just going to be negative five fifths like so. So common denominators, which again, you should not do that, right? And then we're going to keep the denominator. We add the numerators. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4. And keep the denominator. Fifths. 
So now we got our slope right here. We got our y-intercept right here. And so this equation of the line is going to be y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 4 fifths. All right, so you guys have a little bit of practice um, with these. Um, hopefully not too bad. Let me know if you have any questions, obviously. I'll be on office hours today. Um, just like always, back back into the groove, y'all. Uh, Christmas is over, which is like the saddest part of the year for me. Uh, but, you know, we can't get to the end of school unless we get through these winter months. So, here we go. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, glad to be back. We'll see you guys later.